In this video, I will show you how to create this model of a puppy. In the following video, we proceed with texture painting and rigging, so let's go. We start a new Blender project and press A to select everything and then delete to get rid of everything in the scene. In the video description, you will find a link to download the reference images, press 1 on the numpad to get into the front view. Drag and drop the file Welperefront into the scene. Center the image with Alt-G and then GZ to move the puppy into the center. The Z-axis should be in the center of the legs. We need the space around the world origin for modeling, so press GY to move the image back. Free on the numpad and drag and drop the file Welperef Seite. Alt-G to center it and move the image with GX away from the center. Press 7 to get to the top view and drag and drop the file Welperef top. Press R Z90 to rotate the image 90 degrees around the Z axis. Press GX to center the image and GZ to move it down a little bit. If your 3D cursor is not in the world center, press Shift plus S and select Cursor to a world origin to bring it back. Add a cube with Shift A, scale it down and move it with GY along the Y axis to the snout. The boundaries of the cube should match with the outside of the legs. With the help of the cube, we can align our reference images. The cube aligns with the bottom of the snout. The height of the snout matches with the height of the snout in the side view, but we need to pull back the side view a little bit. I renamed the images and the collection. You can go to Object Properties and type in a better name than MT. Under Object Data Properties, I change the option in the row Depth to Front and activate the Opacity and set the value to 0.5. With these settings, we can see our reference through our model. I went back to Data Properties, Visibility and unchecked selectable. So we can't accidentally move the reference image around while we're modeling. Add a new collection for our model. Free on the numpad for the side view and add a plane. Rotate the plane with RY90 around the Y axis. Switch to edit mode and move the endpoints of the plane to match the shape of the shoulder. This will be the initial geometry to model the rest of the body. Select the vertices and move them with G into position as shown in the video. Select the bottom left and top vertices and press E for extrude. Move the edge up the neck. Repeat the process until you reach the snout. The low poly reference with the visible corners give you an orientation. The same procedure on the other side. Select the bottom right and top vertices and extrude again. That's all for the moment. We model the legs and the tail later. Select all vertices with A and press 1 on the numpad. GX to move the vertices to the side of the corner of the head. Go to modifier and add a mirror modifier. It looks a little bit strange now because we rotated our model at the beginning in object mode. Return to object mode and apply the rotation with Ctrl A rotation.
go back to edit mode and deselect everything with Alt A. We need to select the outline of our model. Switch to edge mode, press Alt select to select the top loop and Shift Alt select for the bottom loop and Shift select on the left and right missing edges. Activate clipping in the mirror modifier and extrude the outline with E X to the center. This was the easy part. Now we model the body of a puppy. I started with two loop cards, Control R, and one step with a mouse wheel. I kept my geometry as simple as possible. I'm quite satisfied with the shape of a model. As you notice, I'm lacking of geometry in some areas, but I will stay on low poly count for now. I can always add additional loop cuts later on. In the top view, you can see that we left out the shoulders and the hips. We need some adjustments first. We start with the front legs. Switch to face mode and select these four faces. Go to top view and extrude them as shown. Flatten the upper shoulder in vertex mode. Change to front view and align the geometry with the reference image. Shoulder looks good now. Select the bottom face, go to side view and extrude. Align the extrude vertices in side view and in front view. Select the bottom faces once again and extrude the paws. Align the bottom of the paws perpendicular to the z-axis with z as 0. We need to add the elbow and the wrist by adding two loop cuts with Ctrl R and one step with a mouse wheel. On the level of these loop cuts, there will be the joints in our armature. We apply the same procedure for the rear legs. 
we select four vertices and extrude them in the top view. Flatten the hips as we did for the shoulders and adjust the width. Since we have no reference from the back, we must guess. For the extrude process, we can stop at the joints and continue in the direction of the next joint. Now we extrude the tail. With our knowledge of the legs, this should not be a problem. With double G, we can make use of a vertex edge slide to bring the vertex to the base of the tail. Here I made a mistake. I extruded only vertices and not faces, so I must close the geometry here. I select the vertex in the center and extrude it along the x-axis. Now I can select four vertices and add a face with F. I repeat this procedure on the other side. I need to check the geometry from the top view. I made another mistake. I moved the bottom vertices to the center and can't move them back due to the clipping option in the mirror modifier. Deactivate the clipping option for the moment, fix the problem and activate it again. To the end, we need to model the ears. I added a vertical loop cut behind the ear and two horizontal loop cuts. Move the loop cuts closer to the center line of the ear. Select four faces and extrude them in the top view and align the vertices for the last time.
We finished our modeling so far. We added loop cuts in the location of the joints so our puppy is ready for rigging. But there is place for improvement. As homework you can refine the model. Add some loop cuts where applicable and find other reference images for additional details. In the next video we will apply some texture painting to our model and we add an armature.